You dumb fucking whore. You job of the hut trailer trash. I'm gonna start that. That's that's addressed to an ex girlfriend that will remain nameless. I should not I should not be with my ex uh I kinda hate her. I kinda hate women in general. I really am not suited for reproduction anymore. I'm too old and I'm too uh I'm too jaded and I just kinda hate I kinda hate people. <laughs> I kinda hate people. And I have to use the I need this. Like I, I it would be nice to be able to date. But you can't always get what you want. But sometimes you get what you need. And I need this. I need this. And I can't really... Uh, I can't do the whole like wife and kids thing. I don't even really want to get a job. And I just have so much hatred towards... Uh, just women and just the ge the nature of life in general. It's just fucked up because... Uh, women, they don't like me. They're, I just... I match this woman... Um, like right now my ex she's like for like she said like oh i love you i love you she's off fucking some other guy in scotland and that makes me like murderously angry like there's like a visceral like hatred that kind of makes me understand oj simpson like oj simpson i kind of get it i kind of get like that's my fucking pussy and you fucking whore like you're that's my fucking pussy it's that's not like a healthy feeling. And so I'm always going to have that. Like I should never really talk to my ex anymore. She's not going to talk to me anymore. But that love thing is bullshit. And uh, I just kind of hate. I hate women and I hate myself for not being what women want. And I, the older I get, the more I'm doing. I just hate like the nature of life in that regard. That You're supposed to say that you love somebody for them. But it's bullshit. Because women, they just they they just want like confidence. They want like... They, they say that they should, like, women, like my ex, she, like, she, you should love somebody for something deep down that can never be changed. You should love them. Well, like, how can you stop liking me based on some shit that I'm doing? She said, like, I love you, I love you, I love you. But she's like, you, I don't love you anymore for some actions. You did some bad actions, and now I don't love you anymore. You're supposed to love somebody forever for their soul. Like, either you have a soul, in which case you should love that person permanently, or it's just some shit that you're doing, in which case there's no fucking soul. There's no fucking love. It's just physical shit, and everything's fucking shallow. And my wife, or my ex-girlfriend, she just is a shallow, dumb fucking whore. And she just wants money, and she wants her little life. She wants to show off her shit on Instagram. And she's going to try to get it, but she's too old. And she's going to end up a cat lady or dead off drugs or some shit. And she deserves it. <laughs> really, yeah, I just I have a visceral hatred for her now. And it's really good that I... Well, I should not be with her, because I'm going to... Even if I... I'll probably never see her again. But even if I'm with her, I'll f I'll get I'll hate her. I'll look at her and be like, "You just you'll fuck some up. You'll cheat on me, and you're just gonna you just want money. You want that life. You want that house, and you want some guy to show off on Instagram. But it could be anybody. You don't even really care. And I don't really care either. I just want a hot chick, and that's how it really fucking is. But I know that in the midst of trying to get into a vagina, I'm gonna occasionally say some sort of no, no love, like blah blah. But I'm too old now to believe in that. And there's just, there's no love. There's no love. There's no soul. And there's no, um, there's no God. Really? You can just look it up. You can just look it up. These are like, there's, well, there's no evidence of these things. Isn't it true there's no evidence of God? There's no evidence of a soul. And there's no evidence of love. Those are not tangible things with evidence to substantiate their existence. Can you just answer me yes or no as to whether or not it's true isn't it true that there is no evidence of god love as being a tangible thing or a soul as being a tangible thing yes so there's yes, yes. There, there is no, no those are just fucking bullshit so my ex she's a dumb fucking whore she's job of the hut trailer trash and she just said i love you i love you love her meanwhile she's fucking other people she she fucked somebody else when we were together and she didn't tell me that's called cheating and so I'd rather just be the person that you fuck. Like if somebody says they love you, but they're fucking somebody else, you can keep your love. I'd rather just have you fuck me. I'd rather just be the person that you fuck. I don't know what love is. And then if they say love, they love you, but they put you in jail, they don't fucking love you. If they don't care about you and then they're fucking somebody else, it's meaningless to say that. They, so love, that's just some bullshit that people say. J-Lo, J-Lo, she said like, my love don't cost a thing. Yeah, because it's not a real thing. It's just some bullshit word that like is meaningless. If your actions aren't, uh, commensurate with the word it's a meaningless word so i just think there's shit that people do and there's you can just do whatever you can physically do you can say whatever you can physically say and it's meaningless you, there's just shit there's people doing shit and that's it and so if somebody can consistently do some shit 
that gets them to get the put a dick in a pussy. Putting a dick in a pussy makes a baby. That's the important thing. So whatever you have to say to like do that. But it's easier to say that when you believe in love. That's easier to do. But when you get too old and you're just like this is old fucking bullshit. And people just they're born. They what they breed. They say some shit. They make a baby. They don't make a baby and then they die. That's what's really going on. And then there's all this extra like. But love, soul, it's all fucking bullshit. Really? Yeah, uh, there's this. There's humans doing their little thing. But it's... They can do anything. Like, they can do all sorts of shit. And then if you do some... S some stuff that's not consistent with who they thought you were, they're like, Oh, you're not the person I thought you were. Yeah, neither are you. You, you just think you are. They're like, You're not... You're not the person I thought you were. Neither are you. You're not... You're not really you either. You just think you are. That's my whole idea. Anyway. What's the point? Anyway, it's Saturday night and no one's fucking me, and that's the important thing. And so I just I always crave pussy, but the, I've really gone th I've gotten too old for it also. And women, they're all if I can't fuck them before if once I start talking to them, I want the pussy so bad that they're gonna they're gonna go oh you're really nervous I need some confident guy who's not nervous. I'm like well of course I'm nervous because I want the fucking pussy, but you have to like be cool to get the pussy, and I can't do that. Like I have to I have to meet them and just have sex. I have to just, I have to, I used to be able to do that when I was young and cute. There were like six or seven instances when I just had somebody just, I said, just come over, let's have sex. I can do that. Once I have sex, then I can like be myself because then I'm relaxed because I got the pussy already. But if, if I never understand that, I never understand how women, they just go, what's the problem? Like, let's go to coffee. Like, what's the, you shouldn't be nervous at all. Like, what's the big deal? It's like the most important, most pleasurable thing that a man can get is riding on your ability to just relax and be yourself. And it's like, I never understand how the cool guys, they can do that. I'm always like, can to get all like, oh my God, like I, I'm being judged. Like if they, if they don't like me, I'm not going to get any pussy. Just give me the fucking pussy. They're like, I got to go. You seem kind of nervous. I, I need a confident man. I'm like, fuck. So what's the point? I don't know. No pussy for me, but I fucking hate, I hate women and I hate myself for not being what they want and so right now my ex is fucking some guy in scotland right now there was this pretty woman i matched on bumble and she was almost about to have sex with me it's always the same thing like i get some woman who's like yeah maybe i'll have sex with you and then i'm like okay let's have sex like let's meet right now she's like oh maybe we should meet for coffee or something like, no let's just fucking meet i can fuck you and then we'll talk we'll talk afterwards and then she's like no no it's i just let's just talk tomorrow and i'm like I know that if I talk to you first, once you hear me for a while, you're going to be like, I, I don't like you. And so what's the point? Just sure enough, like I talked with her and she was so ready. She was talking to me today and she's like, oh, like, yeah, like we can have sex. And I'm like, cool, let's have sex. I'll have a kid with you. I'll make you pregnant. I'll try to be a good dad. And then she's like, oh, like, we have to meet first. I go, okay, let's talk on Zoom. But I know once you talk to me and you watch me, you're not going to be attracted to me anymore because that happens every fucking time. And so I fucking, I hate women i hate myself i hate just the nature of life and just aging and death and the, just even craving women is like annoying and i just i just hate it all i hate everything right now i just hate everything anyway so i'm just gonna go to dinner with my mom i just gotta relax i hate the i hate the high like when i when i'm ready it's like potential sexy pussy i feel really good and then it's always no sexy pussy and then just fucking hatred and death and i fucking hate everybody and uh it's like trying to catch like a deer. Like you're trying to approach a deer and you're like, nice deer, nice deer. And the deer runs away. Go, don't get the fuck, don't do it. I'm going to get the fucking deer. But you can't get, you got to be cool and I can't be cool. So anyway, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to jerk off tonight frantically. But not to that woman that wouldn't fuck me. I'll just jerk off to supermodels. Nice thing about being single forever is you can just jerk off to an infinite plethora of supermodels. They're just way hotter and they never get old and they never, you don't have to drive them anywhere. And I'm just going to do that. And I don't care. I'll just be a misogynist. I don't even care. I don't even want to care. I fucking hate everybody. I fucking hate women. I hate myself. And uh, anyway, but I'm going to go dinner with my mom. So my goal is to just, I'm never going to be able to be cool. But I, I, if I can die just learning how to sustain eye contact, at least with like old people, I wish I could have like sustained eye contact with young people without the help of drugs or alcohol, but I can't. But if I can just, t I'm going to go to this dinner with my mom. My mom is like, Cool, cool enough and old enough with she's cool enough with me and she's old enough now that she doesn't really care about any of this shit and so she I can sit at a dinner table with her and just tell her like look I'm trying to get over my aversion of eye contact I'm just going to look in your eyes like the whole time and it's going to be awkward and I'm not even going to be able to process what you're saying but can we just do that can I just can I just openly tell you I'm trying to practice eye contact and I want to get over this fucking 
a version of eye contact before I'm dead. I don't care. Even if I just do it with my parents, I don't care. Those are the only people I talk to anyway. I'm just going to stare in my mom's eye like a weirdo. And she's old enough that she won't really care. She has health problems. She has bigger concerns. And so she's going to be like, whatever. She might have a few drinks. Maybe I'll have like a couple glasses of wine. But I'm going to go to dinner with my mom. If she still wants to, she might be like, uh, you're too awful. I don't my mom might not even want to see me. Dude, the, the, the old ladies, the old ladies at the, the old folks' home, they think I'm cute. My mom always goes, oh, all the 90-year-old ladies at the old folks' home, they say you're such a handsome man. I'm like, well, where the fuck were they when they were young and hot? <laughs> like, all these old women, they're just, when the young, when the young hot women, they're like, oh, I don't like you. You're too nervous. But then they're going to get old. They're going to get old. They're going to turn into cat ladies. And then they'll be like, well, now I think you're like a handsome, now I like the handsome shy guy. I'm like... You got to like them when you're hot. Like when you're young and hot, you can make babies. But when you're old, like you should like fuck the nice handsome guy when you're young enough to make a baby or else you're going to turn into a fucking cat lady. And what's the point? Just there's all these fucking cat ladies and single moms. And now like women, they just, they can just hold out. Women have so much power now. They're just on their dating apps. And they're like, I'm just going to fuck whoever I want. I have a lot of applicants, but they're just going to get fucked by the cool guy. The cool guys are doing all the fucking. And then the women just get tattooed and there's just an ocean of tattooed single moms. And they're like, I don't get it. Like, why can't I find like a husband? Well, because you're just holding out for all the cool guys. And meanwhile, all the incels are like frustrated and they're like, fuck you. Which way? The in, they, I think the, the women now, women have so much power in dating that they expect to be able to fuck cool guys and then get some dorky dude to have like sloppy seconds or sloppy 100s and do all the fucking work. I'd be like, can you help me raise some cool guys kid? Fuck you. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to die alone and you deserve to die alone too. But at least the cool guy, at least I guess just the cool guys get to breed. The cool guys are the people who are willing to do just a ton of work while their wife is probably cheating on them. Society's all like fucked up. Anyway, I just fucking hate everybody. And I'm just going to, I'm going to die at least learning how to do eye contact with my mom. And I'm just going to do my little nerdy incel at home activities. I'm going to do my little videos. I can talk to a camera and then I can do my little improv acting classes and I can talk like virtually but I can't a, a wife and kids and some sort of real life social thing with a woman that's like long gone that's like I'm post relationship I'm post jobs and I just fucking hate I hate the nature of like real life with humans and I just kind of hate people I hate people but I can do this shit and I can be I can do a bunch of fake shit and so we'll do that again tomorrow I fucking hate everybody I hate the whole human race, including myself. Like Panzer, I identify with Panzer. Hello. Hey, you still want to go to dinner today? Hello. Hey, mom. Hello. Hello. Alright, my phone is broke. Just hey, you want to go to dinner? I'll just text her. Just say hey, you want to go to dinner? I fucking hate everything. I fucking hate everything. You still want to go to dinner? Now, no one's watching, right? But if somebody's watching this, like if my ex-girlfriend my ex-girlfriend says her friend watches this and her friend supposedly says like, oh, he's such a jerk, he's such an asshole, he's such a loser or something like that. Well, my question is like, was I always that? Was I always that? Because when I was like 30, my ex-girlfriend and her friends were like, oh, you're so lucky, like he's such a good guy. When did I like, if I was, was I born a loser? Was I born a misogynist? Was I born some sort of thing? If I wasn't, then it's just some act. It's something I'm doing, but it's like a temporary thing. And so like, if my ex-girlfriend says, I love you like as some permanent soul thing deep down, you should love me forever. I'm just going through some like misogynist, bad, dark phase. But isn't there like some permanent thing that you love me for intrinsically? If I can just act differently and be like, make you not like me, that means you don't love me. You just, you love some actions that I'm doing. In which case, like, there's no fucking soul. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? Like, once again, there's no, there's no evidence of god love or um the soul being tangible things right that's true yeah yes, yes that's, that's correct. correct so then everything's physical like in life there's photons there's sound waves there's physical bodies and the physical bodies are just doing some shit and that's it 
And so the idea of like loving somebody like I love you, there's no you, there's no you. There's just the thing doing some shit and there's women who are pretty for a while and they have working boobs and a working vagina. And if they can be nice for a while, that if they can do that long enough to get a dick in their pussy to make a baby, that's real. Like making babies, that's real. Sex is real. But just it's all just acting. It's all just fucking... And so the question is, like, as a man, can you do the shit that makes the women wet and let you fuck them? But it, it's not like, I love you. Like, they, you got to talk is cheap. You got to you got to show me the money. You got to you got to pay for it. You got to do some shit. You got to turn them on. You got to do some and then you can't be mean. And you got to just do that, like consistently and just I can't do it anymore. I'm too jaded. I'm too full of hatred and bitterness because you get old when you get old, you get bitter. And so now I just I fucking hate my ex. And I just, I kind of hate women, just the nature of women in general, because they're not like lovey-dovey. They, they're hypocrites. They say, you should love me for something down, deep down. They don't love you for some deep down thing either. They just want money or they want some handsome guy and they're going to floozy around and fuck whoever, whatever cool guys they can and then hold out for some like stable guy who they're just going to use. And they can do that now because they have dating apps and they can just, they have a lot of applicants and it's all just fucking awful and it just makes me fucking hate. I just fucking hate women and i hate myself for just being too timid my fucking timid nature i hate like c3po he's like damn my cursed timid circuitry i hate myself and i just hate the nature of life and just if there is a god he's a, there's no god there's no it just says right there there's no evidence of god there's no evidence of a soul it's all bullshit but i used to when i was young and cute you know that there's that thing on saturday night live where they say how do you get laid be attractive don't be unattractive. So like the things that are that people like about you the most are your youth, which you can't do anything about, and then your genetics, which you can't do anything about. And when I was young enough, I had just good enough genetics when I was 30 and I was just young enough to get my dick in some sexy pussies. And now I just can't do it anymore. And I can't say the shit. I can't pretend to believe in love anymore. I can't, I'm too far gone. I'm too hostile, I'm too jaded. And I just, I'm too full of hatred and bitterness and cynicism. I'm full of a lot of cynicism. And I just, I, there's too much thorns between me and the pussy anymore. But I just always crave pussy and I crave pussy on a Saturday night. And then I just, I try to get the pussy and the woman goes, oh, maybe, maybe I'll fuck you. But she never does. And she, she wasn't even really that hot to begin with. And then I just feel like the sick feeling. And I just, I hate it. I just hate the nature of like craving pussy and not being able to get it. It's just kind of an unwinnable game. Even if you get the pussy, it's a... It's just a ton of fucking work. And so the thing I always remind myself, my dad had kids and he was kind of miserable. And so having kids isn't like a solution to your problems either. And everybody's just going to fucking die. And so just enjoy yourself. If you got some things you want to do before you're dead, do it. Call to life. What do I want to do before I'm dead? Well, I already had sex when I was in my 30s. I, I don't think I'm going to, I'm not holding out for a lot more good sex. But what I would like to do is I'd like to get over my aversion to eye contact. And I, I, can't, I can't do that with beautiful women probably in my lifetime but I can probably do it with my parents so I'm gonna go to dinner with my mom and I'm just gonna tell her I'm just my goal for this dinner is I'm just gonna look into your eyes the whole time is that weird I can't imagine that she's gonna say like no you can't look in my eyes you have to look at the floor she's not gonna do that so she'll be like yeah but she's gonna say why can't you just do it naturally because I'm naturally fucked up I'm naturally timid and my I have nerdy fucked up genetics or something so I want to get over this. I have to. I just have to physically orient my eyes, so that the eyeballs are staring in the direction of her eyeballs. It's a physical exercise, and so I'm just gonna think in my head. I'm never gonna do it naturally. I have to force myself, and it's gonna be awkward. But if I don't force it, I'm never gonna fucking do it. And so that's my goal. So I'm just gonna go to dinner with my mom, and I'm just. I'm just gonna openly tell her that. Like I'm just. I'm gonna have some wine. If I help. I'll have two glasses of wine. I'm just, if I, I'm not even going to be able to understand what she's saying, but I'm just going to say, I'm just going to look in your eyes for for the majority of this dinner. And it's a forced, I have to think in my head, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. And that's all I'm going to do. 